This game review brought to you by USA Digital Media. To save 20% on any future forward digital solution, visit review.usadm.net today. Sounds like they're gone. Yeah, I think they're gone. Howdy y'all, Sergeant Pope here. This time I'm with Resistance 3. Does Insomniac really push the series to the next level, or does this one fail hardcore? Follow me and we'll find out. I'm sure you guys know the deal though. You gotta check out our sponsors first. Those motherfuckers really shizzle our nizzle, so shimmy shing dong ding to those cats. Now let's hit this bitch! Make me a sandwich. Before I jump on into this review, in this video we'll be giving away a free month of gameplay courtesy of USA Digital Media. The way you enter is to comment with the code you'll hear at the end of this review. Babies! Let's talk about the general things about Resistance 3 bees. <laughs> the game modes in this game are campaign, co-op, and then multiplayer. Those are pretty straightforward game modes, so I won't go into uh, describing them, uh, so yeah. The storyline is decent in this edition of Resistance, but it's really not anything you'd be incredibly impressed over either. It's definitely a math moment whenever you're playing through it. Some other things on this game does have PS Move capabilities, along with 3D. That's pretty crazy, and those are definitely uh, terrific extras to have. And is this an orgasm? What the hell? I got it! I got the power core! Yeah! Uh, okay, uh, now let's talk about the pros. This game has quite a few little pros, including good controls, Decent graphics, nothing gonna be blown away by graphics, but decent. And then occasional hints in the campaign that really help you out, because some parts of this campaign are just vague as shit. Some bigger things, uh, this game does have uh, really great variety in the campaign missions. The storyline really didn't impress me at all, but the actual gameplay was slightly addicting to myself, and I actually found it pretty fun. And now here's a big pro, but only to select people. If you have PS Move, this game works like a fucking dream with it. The accuracy is perfect and the calibration system is fucking simple and better yet it's extremely effective works like a goddamn boss if you don't move you're fucking missing out with resistance 3 motherfucker oh. shifting along let's talk about the cones now right from the get-go this game has massive updates and installations that's a real cock block right when you were getting ready to game fucking bullshit also, the overall quality of this game just isn't as impressive as I wanted. A first party developer should be better than this. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. But it's really not that good either, and just first party developers really should be amazing. Come the fuck on, man. Ooh, now we're getting my real rant. This game requires an online pass. I understand why developers do this. It pushes people to buy the game who would otherwise just rent it. But Insomniac went way overboard with this online pass. I'm not the kind of person who typically hates online passes. As you guys see from my past reviews, I really don't hate on them too much. I pointed out, and I, I mean obviously it is a negative because some games have it and some games don't, but I don't say it's a terrible thing, but this one just really fucking pisses me off. Online passes usually give me a, two, uh, a free two day trial. This allows me to play it and tell you guys how it is, but better yet, it lets you guys try it out so you get a feeling for the game, and so you know whether or not you should buy the game or just rent it, it gives you a great feeling about it. Resistance 3 basically tells you, hey thanks for playing our game, give us more money you fucking piece of shit, we're greedy as fuck shitheads, Ugh, this is grade 8 fucking bullshit. Best of all, this game doesn't even take you where you need to buy it if you're dumb enough to do so. To all of you watching this, do not give Insomniac more money. You fucking hear that? They do not deserve more money for a mediocre game like this. They are fucking greedy as shit, fucking assholes that came and make a decent game. That is fucking shit. Woo! Now that we have that out of our system, man, no fucking free trial. That, ugh, God, Insomniac, I don't fucking get it. I just don't fucking get it. Uh, anyways, I think you guys should go out and rent this game. Yeah, you won't be able to play online. Life is fucking great, isn't it? Yeah, but fuck you, Insomniac, you piece of fucking shit. 
But seriously, it's good enough to play for a little bit, but it's really not great. It's, it's not a great game. It's not good enough to buy. You won't be able to play online, but um, you should still be able to play uh, co-op, um, split-screen co-op, and single-player campaign. Okay, in this long journey to get to my score, which uh, this is probably the longest review I've ever done. Fucking cool, isn't it? <laughs> probably just because of probably just because of this rant, pretty much. But anyways, I gave Resistance 3 an 8.0 out of 10. Even with all that rant, this game is still decent. I'm just raging so much over this because it's a first party developer and they really should make better content than this. This is a PlayStation 3 exclusive. PlayStation does not need exclusives that are this quality. It's just not good enough quality. I mean, it's not going to bring any more people to PlayStation. I mean, people are going to go like, oh, you got resistance? Wow, cool. Xbox even has better shit than this. Awesome. Wow, cool. <laughs> Transitioning from that epic of a fucking laugh, girly thing, whatever. <laughs> Before I end this thing up, thanks for patiently waiting so long for this special code. This fucking review is long as shit. The script is three pages. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> But the special code is Jello Puddin' Pops. You know, Bill Cosby, Jello Puddin' Pops, Jello Puddin' Pops, yeah. <laughs> woo woo! Okay. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so if you're watching this on Zone, Vimeo, or Meta Cafe, please PM our YouTube channel with the special code to be entered in the giveaway. And in case you don't know, it's youtube.com slash prestigious reviews. You should probably at least know what our reviewing game is. So hopefully you can get there and PM uh, Jello Puddin' Pops to us. That'll enter you into our, uh, let's see, wait, what did I write down? This giveaway will end exactly one week after this video goes live on YouTube. So be sure to post your special code in the comments or PM us. So yeah, okay, do that. <laughs> and uh, big thanks to Rob for the Gamefly. More giveaways will be coming out soon. He gave me more than uh, one of these. So probably the next game review from me, probably not Nemo, because I'm kind of taking control of this whole giveaway thing. But um, uh, next uh, one of these, I'll probably have a special code, similar thing. So uh, be sure to come back for that. And I uh, hope you guys found this either enjoyable or uh, helpful. I said that backwards, but anyways, it still works. And uh, as always, live prestigiously, mofos! Let's talk about the general things about this resistance three about resistance. Uh, the storyline is decent in this edition of resistance, but it's really not nothing. Uh, not nothing. Oh shit! Son of a fucking bitch! Break this out! God damn it! Son of a bitch! Can dream. The the uh the slip a hoe, slip a hoe, slip a hoe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand why developers do this. It pushes people to buy it who would otherwise just rent it. But Insomniac went way plural, you stupid piece of shit. Overboard with this on pat online. <laughs> Ah, son of a bitch. Son of a fucking hunt ass bitch tits. Fuck ass. I said ass already. Shit. Fuck. Ah. I talk in tongue because I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah. Not good enough to buy it. I mean, you're not going to be able to. You're not going to be able to. Be able to, be able to, be able to, be able to. Uh, ba ba ba. Uh, ba ba ba.